so let's start with the process in today's video we'll be learning the multiple darts manipulation so here we are manipulating this to the center front darts three center front darts we are manipulating at once first we have to mark a center front dart and from that up and down i'm taking one inch one inch and from the bust point again i'm taking one inch this from here to here this is one inch on the dart right and on the both side again we have to mark two points of one inch and one inch i have to take the a perpendicular of one inch and one inch and on this side also and we'll draw two parallel lines from that new point you know this process we can follow when we have to take multiple darts at one side now we'll be spreading it and closing the waistline dart i'm spreading the center one that means the original the dart i have spread the center front dart and now it is fixed right and now we can just spread it to the we can divide this into the three portions this is one part of the process follow this till end to know the entire process because this is very technical somehow right now we will we have to trace it we will be tracing the entire bodies with the spreaded darts simply I tried my level best to make it simple so that you can understand see this and this and armhole like this and the shoulder slope and neckline this right now we will trace the darts darts as it is as they are looking like we just have to trace the openings these all openings we have to trace right as it is and now we will see the pattern the new pattern which we have traced right and this so this is the new pattern but you can see some de uh, deformities in the darts that you can see just here it was masking tape so it is not traced properly let's finish it right now to remove the deformities we have to take the dart points one 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 inch away from the bust point right and then we have to just match it to the vertex with the dart legs right this this and this this is the most important you can say the process which will give the shape to your proper bodies now we'll cut this to just feel and look and feel okay, how it will look like so we'll just cut this if you are finding the video interesting please like the video share the video with the like-minded people and if still you have not subscribed the channel please subscribe it so that you will get all the notifications of our videos 
right this is it and now we'll cut the darts i searched so many uh, videos on youtube regarding dart manipulation there are one or two videos which are again and again everybody is repeating and the methods are very difficult to understand so here i meet my level best to make it possible you can understand it even beginner can uh, understand this now we'll be making with the shoulder slope dart first we have to mention mark the shoulder slope dart and then we have to mark a point one one and a half or two inches and then one inch on both side perpendicular to the dart right and then here i am marking neckline tip shoulder tip and armhole shoulder tip see this technique we can use when we have we are taking darts either parallel or from the one side when all the darts are on one side we can use this technique in further videos again we'll see ki how further things or further multiple darts we can insert there are so many uh, you can say dart manipulation is a very vast topic though it is same in all the ways but to understand it you need to apply your brain so much because this is just like applying it on it, it is actually the uh, you can say garment engineering i would say because this is the right word now well fix the center one center portion from the neck and from the bottom and then we'll stitch the and we'll just stitch the waistline dart will close it now in the opening we will be spreading all the three darts in the equal distance you can measure it this is 3 inches 1 inch 1 inch 1 inch i am spreading it like this and then we will just trace it simply as we did in the last so i was telling you ki this is the only uh, uh, i tried my level best to make it possible that it is easy to understand one thing and this is in the series first we have done with the single darts then with the double darts then with the contour lines now with the multiple darts on the same side then we'll do some asymmetrical darts and some irregular darts and some irregular designs this is very vast topic which cannot be covered in classes but i am clearing your base so that you can create your own designs with the use, using with the dart if you'll follow the entire series you'll be able to create your own designs see i'm tracing the darts i'm tracing is as it is as you can see on the pattern right and this and now we'll remove the pattern like Mm. and this and this you can see this you can see the dart wala portion just repair it and now what we have to do we have to take the dart points from the bust point 1 or 1/2 inch i am taking here 1 inch 1 inch 1 inch and then we'll join it to the dart vertex this 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 and this now we'll cut this
cutting with the neckline the shoulder slope acha cutting it on the, onto the fabric is little different because here we have to cut the dart so i'm not taking any extra fabric in that or extra uh, you can say paper in that but while we are cutting out on paper on the fab on the fabric so we have to take one take the extra fabric that will learn when will cut it on fabric this this and this so it will look like this only so this is all for the today's videos video friends thanks for watching this in the next video we'll be meeting with a new topic that how to insert irregular or asymmetrical darts through the slash and spread method till then bye bye and see you again in the next video bye